The first is in relation to mandatory coaching standards for club and inter-county coaches from 2016, um, a policy decision that was uh, made by Ard Corla back last June. Um, and uh, we feel it's uh, timely to communicate that now um, outside of our formal structures so the coaches can be in a position to uh, uh, get the qualifications where required uh, before that date. Um, and I'll hand over to Michal to um, uh, elaborate on the uh, implementation of mandatory coaching standards. Well, this decision was, it was came on the back of the FRC recommendations. Um, and at the June Central Council meeting, uh, the Games Development Committee proposals on this were adopted by Art Corla. Uh, and in essence, by in 2016, all inter-county management teams uh, will have an award to coach as part of their management setup. And in 2018, that comes that uh, that will be the, the head coach. And in relation to club uh, management teams uh, at all levels, that the in 2016 an award one coach um, will be part of this management setup. And again, at 2018, that all inter-county Sorry, club. Club. All club head, uh, the head coaches would be uh, award one qualified. The, the second item today um, was the, the publication of coaching resources uh, to support the implementation of the Gaelic 15 injury prevention program um, that was devised um, under Jer's chairmanship of the Medical, Scientific and Welfare Committee um, during the last year. Um, the program outlines a series of exercises that are designed to ensure that um, injury, uh, ACL in particular injuries, are prevented um, through the implementation of the programme during the season. Um, the videos themselves were uh, developed in association with Sports Clinic Plus. I'd like to thank Ethan Uvery and Sports Clinic Plus um, for uh, the, the resource development and for attending here today. We're delighted uh, uh, in the Medical, Scientific and Welfare Committee to have the opportunity today to be part of this launch. I think it's very significant. One of the key objectives of player welfare in the GA over the years has been on injury treatment and making sure injured players were looked after properly and that they could recover, and that is through provision of medical expertise, through provision of insurance schemes and so on. But we've now moved to a new level, and of course the, the one thing that all Gaelic Games players want to do is play, and when we get to the level of being able to prevent injuries, I think we're really hitting at the core of what our association is about in terms of maximising the opportunity of all those who play our games, whether at local level or here in Croke Park uh, in, in All-Ireland Finals, that they have the maximum opportunity to play. But heartily endorse uh, this launch today. I think it's very significant. It's about taking good research and good information and bringing it to the wider GA community. We're very fortunate in having the learning .ga.ie portal to distribute this because in a world of uh, newer and newer technology all of the time, it's really a question of how you can exploit that to your advantage. So we can communicate this to the wider GA community in Ireland and abroad immediately through its availability. And I would heartily commend it to all coaches, to all clubs, irrespective of the level uh, that you're operating at.